Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video I'll be showing you guys the best settings for emulating PC games on Android with the help of WinLater Android. These best settings will be working on low end devices to get best performance and best compatibility. Along with that I'll be telling you guys 3 WinLater Android versions which work the best in terms of performance. The first WinLater version which I recommend for low end devices as well as high end devices WinLater 7.1.3 C mode Glipsy version 11 revision 2. This is officially the best Windows emulator for Android. Android in terms of performance and compatibility and this is also the version that I'll be using in today's video. But if you are a fan of the original WinLater Android and want more compatibility inside that version then you can also go with WinLater Frost. In WinLater Frost you will get custom control layouts along with that the newest turnip drivers, Box 64 versions and much more. So this is also a great option for those who want to use the latest version of WinLater Android. With that being said let's open WinLater Glipsy C mode. Once again the best performing Windows emulator for Android and let's let me start off by showing you guys the best settings. Now I'll also be making a dedicated video for Mali GPU Android devices if this video reaches 200 likes. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification. Let's start with the best settings. In terms of Box64 version, make sure to always use the latest Box64 and gives you the best compatibility with games. And in terms of Box64 preset, choose the performance preset after a tap on the duplicate button. Then tap on the edit button. Now let me explain what each setting does. The first environment variable will be save flags. Now basically if you are emulating games like Assassin's Creed or Call of Duty or any game that is not opening it just crashes when you try to open it then you can try setting the save flags level to 2 or 1. By default it is set to 1 but I recommend you guys for best compatibility go with 2. But for best performance I always recommend you guys to set the dynamic save flags level to 0. It will work the best for both low end and high end and Android devices and in terms of dynamic big block make sure to set it to 3. Afterwards in terms of dynamic forward you can go with 1024 if you have high end devices or else you can keep it as default. But for today's video I'll go with 1024 afterwards tap on the ok button. Now that we have created our custom preset make sure to tick mark it or choose it from the settings. You can enable touch screen mode if you want like direct touch input like we get in cloud gaming apps but once again I don't recommend that it is very unstable. Once everything has been set up we'll just and tap on the tick mark option. Our most important settings will be in container settings. So first of all make sure to choose the latest Wine 9.2 custom and in terms of graphics driver I am going to show you how to import the newest graphics driver later on in this video. So let's skip that part for now. In terms of DX wrapper you will get lot of options. Now if you want to emulate new games like Assassin's Creed Unity or Marvel Spider-Man Remastered then you will have to go with wkd 3 d DX wrapper. But for most of the games like GTA 5, Resident Evil, Red Dead Redemption etc. You can use the DX wkd DX wrapper and in terms of version make sure to choose the latest 2.4.1 DX wrapper and then tap on the OK button. Afterwards make sure to enable show FPS tick mark enable full screen as well and in terms of screen size this is also very important this will quite literally help you emulate games at better performance so if you have low end devices always go with 800 by 600 resolution but as for today's video I am using my Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra which has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor I will be going with 1280 by 800 resolution once that has been done if you scroll down you will see and GPU name section now this doesn't really matter on Snapdragon processor Android devices but it does matter for Mali GPU devices. Once again I'll cover that in a separate video. In terms of video memory size make sure to set it as maximum as possible. No matter if you just have 6GB RAM Android device setting it to 4GB will always be helpful. Afterwards in terms of Windows components you will have to keep everything as default. In terms of environment variables if you are using the stock version of WinLater Android then tap on the add button afterwards tap on the list and make sure to enable DXVK HUD to get the FPS counter but as we are using Glipsy C mode we already have DXVK HUD enabled and in terms of advanced settings make sure to choose the box 64 preset that we created just now afterwards make sure to set the startup selection to aggressive and here in terms of game controller let's say you want to pair your PS5 controller to this windows emulator you will need to enable the X input games for wine option now let's say you want to use keyboard or mouse controls then you will need to enable D input for games in wine now you can't really use both of these options simultaneously so you will need to disable either X input or D input. So if you have keyboard or mouse go with D input but for today's video I'll go with X input as I'll be using my PS5 controller later on. Afterwards make sure to tick mark all the processor affinity for 32 bit as well as 64 bit then tap on the tick mark option and here we go our win later container has been successfully created. Now is the main part what about the latest turnip drivers which provide you amazing performance. Well for that in win later glyphs C mode you get and contents option 
If you just go ahead and open it and then select the turnip section, you will be able to import your custom turnip graphics driver. So for today's video, we will be using the WinLater custom turnip drivers which work with WinLater Glipsy 7.1.2 or above and the version that we will be using is the turnip driver revision 5 for 25.0.0. Once you add the latest turnip version on your Android device, you will need to tap on this button and make sure to select the WCP file of WinLater turnip driver and here you will get a short information about our turnip drivers. Just tap on continue and here we go content has been loaded successfully. Now all we gotta do is make sure to edit our container and choose the latest turnip version which we just imported. So here we go turnip 25.0.0 revision 5 enable it then tap on the tick mark button and our win later container has been successfully created now the final steps will be once you open the game i'll tell you more best settings and even we'll be testing out game like gtfi in today's video once the container has opened all you gotta do is tap on the start button and here you'll need to go to system tools then go to wine configuration and here always make sure that the windows version is set as windows 7 if you're trying to emulate old games like let's say gtfi resident evil uh, nfs hot pursuit nfs most wanted devil may cry tekken etc always go with windows 7 but if you are trying to emulate new games like god of war 2018 spider-man games then always go with windows 10 but for low-end devices you'll need to apply windows 7 as the windows version as it uses less ram once that has been done tap on the start option and here you will be able to see some of the patches that have been provided that can fix video freezing issues if, if it occurs with you or even audio output sound patch etc but i don't recommend you enable any of these settings one thing i do recommend is that uh, if you are using VK D3D, then go to the D3D option, then direct text 12 and make sure to execute this first file, which is the VK D3D fix. Other than that, you can also use input bridge touch controls, you can even go to system tools and make sure to add Wine Gecko, Wine Mono for the best possible compatibility on low end Android devices. So, all you gotta do is simply tap on it afterwards, tap on this button, and it will be successfully added. Another thing which I forgot to tell you guys is that let's say you have stored your games in a specific folder. So, for that, you can go to the drive section afterwards tap on the add button choose your drive letter afterwards tap on this folder icon and then simply select the folder where you have stored all of your games once that has been done if you restart your container you'll see that our d drive has changed so if i just go ahead and launch d drive you'll be able to see my games folder has automatically started so let's say if I want to play GTA 5, I want to pair my PS5 controller to my Android device. For that, I'll just go ahead and hold these two buttons down to enter into pairing mode. We'll turn on Bluetooth connection on my Android tablet and afterwards select the DualSense wireless controller. And here we go tap on the pair button and now we have successfully connected our controller inside the WinLater Android. Our final step will be to simply launch the game that we want to play inside WinLater Android and we have successfully applied the best settings. But the video doesn't end here because I want to give you guys some more gameplay tips while emulating PC games on Android which most of you guys forget about. So here we go I have launched GTA 5 on my Android tablet successfully and let me tell you guys some of the more informations that you need to enable. For example virtual gamepad. If you go to input controls, make sure to choose virtual gamepad as soon as you start the game or even before starting the game so it is actually recognized inside your game or else virtual gamepad does not work. Additionally, once your game actually starts, I always recommend you to tap the settings button. Afterwards, go to your in-game settings and then go to the graphics section and decrease all the graphics. This is a very important step so make sure to set the resolution to lowest resolution possible. Afterwards, make sure to turn off vSync and here you will be able to see graphics quality by default are set to very high or high graphics if you have low-end devices turn down all of these settings to low graphics so that your game gets you better fps afterwards just go ahead and apply the settings and then tap on the yes button now you will be able to see my screen resolution is messed up a bit so i'll change my screen resolution multiple times and here we go the screen resolution has now been completely changed so our game is working properly so now if we head back you will be able to see i am playing gta 5 on my android device at straight up 60 fps without any lagging issues and just take a look at it it's running so smooth you would think i am running this game on a laptop or gaming pc but no guys this is just my android device and once we even exit our house we are getting about 60 fps straight off the bat because win later glipsy c mode is very optimized in terms of performance let's get inside our car and try uh, exploring the open world areas to see if we face any stuttering issues or not and still you will be able to see zero stuttering issues at all very smooth gameplay experience though 
the FPS has gone down by a little bit. It will actually go back up once you stop moving around. So as you will be able to see, now we are back up to 40 to 50 FPS. And even in heavy scenarios, like let's say you want to blow up something, uh, <laughs> don't take it the wrong way. Anyways, uh, even in heavy scenarios, the game will work just fine. Uh, minimum requirements wise though, you will need at least Snapdragon 4 Gen 1 processor or above if you want to use Win later to run PC games on Android with these base settings. Anyways, let's just go ahead and exit the car and let's grab a weapon RPG rocket launcher. And here we go rocket launcher animation and still you will be able to see the game is not lagging at all. Just take a look at this. I am bad at aiming it. Well, as you will be able to see rocket launcher animation and still our game is not giving us any kind of frame drops. So yeah guys that's going to be it for today's video. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification or else Franklin will be very sad. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.